I posted a video about what I sold on Etsy. I really like doing that about what I sold on Etsy, like how much profit I made, how much I actually purchase the items for. I love those videos. I already mentioned the last video, but I'm going to mention it again that this one is totally, completely inspired by Crazy Lamp Lady. She's amazing. Her soul videos are so good. She obviously can make more than I can because I'm just like a soul one single person who sells stuff. We're going to hop right into where we left off last time. Starting off in, in November, I did sell a large serving platter of my porous grown dishes. Those are no Norwegian dishes that I purchased a whole big set of 30 euros. I got 40 euros for that and it uh, went to Germany. Then before Christmas, I actually sold a few things to the States, especially like West German Christmas items. One of these was a Advent Bull, you also um, call them. And that one I did pay, I think, eight euros for when I thrifted it in Germany. And I think I already had my Christmas sale going on. So I also had a discount on that, but that's okay. Like at a certain point, I really wanted to move inventory, but I, because I have so much and I have such a small room that I just have to move stuff. What I actually got for it was 26.25. So minus the eight euros, I made 18 euros, 25 profit, which is still really nice. And then I sold another piece of the Porsche dishes, which was a gravy pitcher is what you call it. And that one sold for 25 but had a discount on it. So I ended up getting 18 euro 75 for that one. That I also, and I said pretty much everything here is on sale. So I'm just gonna mention like what I ended up getting with the discounts included. Then I sold a West Germany KMK little dish with a lid for it. I think that one only sold for 12 euros. It did have a chip. That's why I was only charging 16, but there was a, a sale going on. So 12 euros and I think I paid four for it. So my profit wasn't that high. It was eight euros profit, but it was still twice as much what I paid for it, which is always my goal at least. My husband and I, we went to Germany and did our thrift four part thrift series in the fall. I found this amazing set of dishes that my husband convinced me to get. It was only 18 euros and it's this handmade hand thrown dish set that was just one of the most amazing things i'd ever seen so it was two plates two of those egg cups a, a little candlestick holder and uh, two mugs and it was just one of the most stunning items ever and i ended up getting 130 euros for that vase and the same person bought a marai fat lava vase and that one I um, asked 45 euros for, but did have a discount. What I made from those items, two items I sold was 163 euros and 75 cents minus what I actually paid for them. So my actual profit was 144 euros and 75 cents because the Marai vase only cost me one euro. For some reason it was very cheap and the dish set was 18. I sold another Advent bowl and that one, oh no, that one actually did go to Germany. I thought I sold both, sold both to the States, but apparently I didn't. That one I actually ended up selling for 26 euros and 25 cents after a discount on my sale. I did pay nine euros for it. So my actual profit was 17 euros and 25 cents. Then I had this little candlestick holder, which I really liked. I picked that up for I like either 50 cents or euro in one of my favorite thrift stores in Germany in Bremen and that one ended up selling for 15 euros so my profit on here was well let's say it was a euro so 14 euros sometimes their items aren't priced in Germany by the way and they just kind of like make up price at the cash register so remembering that is kind of hard because you don't always get a receipt at those stores then I have this very kind of ikebana style vase it was not japanese ikebana but definitely something you can use with a little flower frog um that one i sold for 15 euros i got that for free so i got that uh, in germany and i could pick up like a whole box of stuff and um, from somebody's backyard so that was where that came from that one went to somebody in the netherlands i also sold a planter that one was one of my favorite ones i actually had two of them one of them is currently sitting in my window so empty because the plant in it died but the second one I did sell and that one sold for 30 euros and I got that planter I remember for 150 so my profit was 28 euros and 50 cents that one actually did go to somebody in Australia so wondering if that already has arrived because post right now is very very slow I also sold another anchor hawking fire king piece I had bought a set for 17 euros of quite a few dishes the serving tray I sold for 20 euros and that one I think went to somebody in the stage. 
states, which uh, which is kind of interesting because Anchor Hawking is American. But for some reason, um, I've sold already a couple of things because there is going to be one more sale coming um, to other people in America. So it's kind of like goes back to where it came from. Then I found an original Ikebana vase when I went thrifting with my husband in the fall. That one I paid four euros for. I did sell that to somebody in the Netherlands for uh, 40 euros. So my profit on this was 36 and I actually had had that in my hands in Germany months before I went there. Once before I passed off on it, came back there like eight months later, it was still there. And this time I scooped it up because back then I had no idea about Ikebana. I sold a mug. I um, picked up a set of Villeroy and Boch mugs for I think a 150 a piece. And this one I sold for 26 euros to somebody in the Netherlands. So my profit was 24.50 on that one. One is gone, I still have three of those left. Then I sold some items to a subscriber of mine and she might be watching because I think she watches a lot of my videos. She is the sweetest lady and um, yeah, she uh, is also a reseller. She told me, which is really great. I I, I don't know, I, I love getting those really nice and sweet comments from you and some people I just, or a lot of people I recognize that just keep on commenting on videos and I don't know, I just, I just like that. that. That's so nice. She is from the States and she bought this amazing West Germany Studio Pottery um, tea light holder from the 70s that I thought about keeping because it was so good. Uh, I think I paid like four euros for this. And then she also got this vintage East German Strela vase, which is a, this like blue fed lava vase, which is also really good. I think for both items together, I paid like six or seven euros. And um, she did get them on a discount. She ended up paying 42 euros. I uh, ended up making 35 on them, considering the amount I paid for those items. That was uh, very sweet of her to support me that way. And you don't have to support me in that way. I'm just so happy that people are watching my videos. I love people who love secondhand and vintage as much as I do. I actually sold my Porsgrund teapot and I ended up making 52 euros and 50 cents on that. Then uh, I sold another very small mouth blown, uh, kind of those block solid flare vases from West Germany. This one was by Marsberger Glaswerke, which nowadays is known, well known as Ritzenhof. They still make glass actually, but they changed their name sometimes along the way, sometime along the way. That one I actually got for free at a thrift store in Germany. One lady threw in two things for free. So that one I paid a zero for. I ended up selling it for 12 euros, 60 cents. It was really a small vase, kind of like this. So um, these don't sell for a ton of money, but I mean free and making 12 euros is uh, still very nice. <laughs> somebody, oh, and that one went to the, the Netherlands. And then uh, somebody from the States bought three items from me. It was very exciting. So the first one was a vin like Karsten's uh, vase and um, that still had the original sticker on there. I'm always such a fan. <laughs> it still has the original sticker. Mm, that one I asked 25 for. Then I had a Ubelocker green pitcher vase and that one I asked 23 for. Oh, and I did mention, I think the Karsten's vase, the red one, I paid three euros for. The Ubelocker vase was around two. And then um, I had a Jasper vase that is trumpet shaped and that I was wondering for such a long time why this thing wasn't selling. It did sell to this lovely lady. 55 euros is what I was asking for. And I'm not 100% sure how much I paid for it. I think I paid like maybe 150 or 2 euros for it because I got that one at the very first estate sale I ever went to in Germany. Then I sold two mouthblown vases to someone in France. And I'm pretty sure that guy, because it was a guy, um, <clears throat> likes green or maybe the person he gifted it to it does. There are two bright green vases and one I got at an estate sale for I believe two euros fifty cents and the other one I got at a thrift store for five euros. So seven fifty was what I spent on those vases. With a discount he actually um, spent seventy three euros and fifty cents on both of them. So my actual profit in the end was 66 euros for those two vases. And I sold one of my favorite fat lava vases that I found and that one I only paid 75 cents for. It was on a discount shelf in a thrift store in Germany. That one was by Hoy um, Pottery and by Hartwig Heine, West German vase, blue fat lava. Blue fat lava is really cool. Blue and purple fat lava, from what I heard back in the day, was sold the least, but now it's the rarest. So now the prices go up. That one I also sold with a discount 
So that one I made 42 euros on minus the 75 cents that I spent on it. So it was like 41 euros and 25 cents is my profit on that vase. And that one went to a home in the United Kingdom. Then I made my most exciting sale um, of the whole year. And that was also the last sale of the year because that vase sold December 31st. If you watched my Thrift With Me in Germany series, you will definitely remember this vase is the gigantic purple and red Schurich Fett Lava vase, 54 centimeters high, that thing, gigantic. I wasn't really sure what to list them first because I saw the prices ranging from like 200 to 600 euros depending on the pattern. I put mine right in the middle at 380 euros, but I threw in free shipping and also insurance. And I was praying that someone from Europe would buy it, so it would cost me less to ship. Uh, which happened. So somebody from Denmark bought it 380 euros. So now I do have to do some subtractions. Shipping cost me 30 euros. The vase cost me 10. I did have to buy a box which cost me like 5 euros. So the total like net profit excluding Etsy um, fees was 335 euros on that vase. And I was like praying and hoping that that thing would arrive in one piece and it did. And I was so happy when the guy mailed me and was like, yes, I got the vase, everything's fine, I love it. And I was like, Whew. I also sold a set of um, egg cups and one <laughs> pepper shaker that was very likely Danish. It's vintage from the 70s, it was teak and ceramics. And um, that one was also on sale. That person got that for 11 euro 90 cents. I paid two euros for it. So 9.90 was my net profit on that. I could have asked more, but I was like, mm, it's not a complete set. So maybe um, I think I was not asking enough. I sold one bowl of my Howda pottery set. That one I sold for 11.50. I paid like six euros for that thing. So um, yeah, I didn't make a lot of money. I made like six euros on that bowl. That was definitely a set I definitely definitely paid up for. Um, yeah, I will not make that mistake again because I thought it was something else. I thought it was Art Deco, but it turned out to be from the 1950s and they're not as valuable, but that is okay. Then I also sold a set of Ambord Fondam um, sugar and creamer pot. And uh, these are actually dishes that I collect, but I actually had a set of two, like creamer and sugar. So I sold one set, that one went to somebody in Germany and she ended up paying 21 euros for that. I think for the whole set, I paid like maybe two euros for that sugar and creamer. So my net profit was 19 euros on that. And the last thing that I'm mentioning that I sold is a set of vintage egg cups and they're kind of like chicken shaped. I got these at an estate sale, paid probably around two euros for them. I sold them for 14, so my net profit is 12 euros. Um, sometimes it's hard to sell a set of three. I actually do have a fourth one, um, and I threw that in for free for the guy. I didn't mention it in the listing because it had like a little bit of a larger chip, but he's happy that he's gonna receive um, four instead of three, so that is also good. That's everything I'm mentioning for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out these ones here on the side, this video and this playlist. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do because I post a new video about thrifting and secondhand finds every single week. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.